in each of the following three expressions, find values of the variable that make the rational expression undefined. Then state the domain. So let's think about it a little bit. How can we get these rational expressions to be undefined? Well, the best way I know how is to get them divided by 0. Because if you have anything, if you have anything divided by 0, this is undefined. We've never, as mathematicians, we've never defined what this equals. Literally, it is undefined. So we need to think, what makes these expressions undefined? And then they want us to state the domain. And the domain sounds like a very complicated thing, but the domain is really just all of the set of numbers that we can put into an expression or a function that make it defined. So it'll essentially be all the numbers except the things that make it undefined. So let's think about it a little bit. Let me clear, let me clear this out. Let me clear that. Let's go look at the first one. So what would we have to do? What x values would make this expression undefined? Well, see, x values that would make the denominator equal to 0. And this will be equal, the denominator will be equal to 0 when 6 minus x is equal to 0. If you add x to both sides of this equation, you get 6 is equal to x, or you get x is equal to 6. So in the first problem, the value x equals 6 makes the rational expression, this whole rational expression, it makes it undefined. And if you wanted its domain, you could write the domain of number 1 over here. The domain here is all real numbers, all real numbers, real numbers, except, except, except 6. So you could put any number into this for x, and you will get a value. If you take this as a function, it will be defined other than 6. If you put 6 here, you get an undefined value. You get 0 over 0. That is undefined, not acceptable, so you have to leave that out of the domain, the, the set of valid inputs, or the inputs for which this expression is defined. Let's do the next one. So you have 3y over y squared minus 16. Once again, the, one, the, the y values that will make this undefined are the ones that will make the denominator equal 0. So the denominator is y squared minus 16 is equal to 0. Or if you add 16 to both sides, you get y squared is equal to 16. Or y could be the positive or negative square root of 16. So y, so I'll do it up here because I need to save space for this one. So, I'll, so if you take the square root, the positive and negative square root of this, or you could say y is equal to plus or minus 4. So either positive 4 or negative 4 is going to make the denominator 0 and will result in an undefined expression. So you have to exclude these. Or another way of saying that, the domain here for the second problem, or the second expression right over here, or we could view this as a function definition, the domain is all real numbers, all real numbers except, except, 4 and negative 4, except 4 and negative 4. Any other real number other than 4 and negative 4, you can put into this expression and get a valid defined value. If you put 4 and negative 4, you don't get a defined value. You get an undefined value. Let's do this one. So once again, we need to figure out all the z values that will make this denominator equal to 0, because then this expression, this rational expression, will be. And when we say rational expression, we're really just saying something that has a numerator and a denominator like this, or some, some expression over another expression right there. there or you could kind of view it as a fraction if you want to view it in more, I guess, everyday language. But to make this undefined, this business down here has to be equal to 0. So z squared plus 5z plus 6 needs to be equal to 0. And it looks like we can factor this. We can find two numbers whose product is 6 and whose sum is 5. Well, that's 2 and 3. So the same thing as z plus 2 times z plus 3. You can verify that for yourself, that it really does factor out like this. And so when would this, when would this denominator equal 0? Well, if, these, if the product of these two expressions equals 0, that means one or both of them need to be equal 0. So this means that either z plus 2 is equal to 0 or z plus 3 equaling 0. Any, either of these would make this entire expression equal to 0, because it would turn one of these parentheses into 0. And anything times a 0 is a 0. So z plus 2 equals 0. Subtract 2 from either side, you get z is equal to negative 2. Or subtract 3 from both sides of this, you get z is equal to negative 3. So if z is negative 2 or z is negative 3, this denominator will become 0. 
Even though for z equal to negative 3, you get 0 over 0. But this denominator will become 0, and the expression is undefined. So the domain here, the domain, the domain here is all real numbers, all real numbers except, except negative 2 and and negative 3. These two will make it undefined. Any other number, you'll get a valid result. And I want to make it clear, because we're going to start simplifying expressions like this. And you might say, OK, the, this expression over here is the same thing as z plus 3 over z plus 2 times z plus 3. And there'll be a temptation here to say, hey, look, I got a z plus 3 in the numerator. I have a z plus 3 in the denominator. Can't I just divide the numerator and denominator by z plus 3 and have them cancel out? And then you would get 1 over z plus 2. And you'd say, well, aren't these the same expression? Or if you set them equal to, if you define them as a function, you might say, hey, aren't these two things the same function? And the answer is, they are not the same function. This and this are different functions. And the reason why is because they have different domains. The way, just the way you've written it right now, this one, you could get a z equals negative 3, and you would get a valid answer. This one, you couldn't. You would get a 0 in the denominator. So if you want, this to, if you want these to truly be the same function, you have to restrict their domain. So in order for this to be the same as that, you have to, av you have to add the caveat that the domain here, that the domain here is is all real numbers, all real numbers, real numbers, except, except negative 2 and negative 3. Or that's defined only for all real numbers other than negative 2 and negative 3. Now this, if you constrain the domain, is the same thing as this with this domain right over here. Because you now say, look, negative 3 is not defined over here. If you didn't have this constraint, negative 3 could have been.